we can run Claude code in parallel. If you go to Anthropic's documentation page, there's a section that says, run parallel Claude code sessions with Git work trees. What does this mean? This means that we can have multiple Git work trees, and for each Git work tree, we can have an instance of Claude code inside of it. So you can delegate these tasks in parallel to complete these tasks faster. But here's the problem. When you're trying to code in parallel, whatever that you're building and coding, everything needs to be isolated, meaning that you can't edit the same files at the same time. Otherwise, we're gonna have merge conflicts, and this is gonna cause more pain at the end of a pull request and cause some delays. Therefore, when you're planning a feature, you wanna make sure that whatever feature it is, it's isolated from each other. So here's what I prepared. I prepared a document that's gonna allow us to run four tasks all in parallel. I have one document that outlines the complete epic, which lists all the tasks. And each task has the code changes and the instructions. The other document that I'm gonna share with you is a complete guide that you can follow to run Claude code all in parallel using Git work trees. So you can follow this and repurpose it for your use case. But here's the problem. We're gonna do this in the most laziest way and the most insufficient way. Because in this example, we're just learning and we're just trying to understand how Git work trees work and how we can run Cloud all in parallel. What I'm gonna show you is a process where you can probably automate it using shell scripts or some form of automation to spawn and create these instances of Cloud code and these Git work trees all automatically without having to manually create these terminals and manually input everything. But for this example, we're just gonna do it manually. To get started, we need to spin up four terminals and we need to navigate to that project. All right, let's follow the documentation. Let's make sure that we're on main. Everything's up to date. And now we'll do a git work tree list. There's no git work trees. And then this command right here, what it's gonna do is gonna create a work tree folder inside your project. So if you look into your project, you'll see that you have a folder called work tree. This is where we're gonna put our git work trees. All right, so for the feature that I'm working on, I have to run the first two tasks sequentially. So I'm gonna do this first, and then we're gonna run these four tasks in parallel. All right, so I completed this task, and now I'm gonna run these four in parallel. In the phase two section of the document, there's these commands that we're gonna run. Basically the command is git work tree add, create a new branch inside this directory. So we'll just run this all at the same time. So if we go back to the project, you'll see that four folders were created. It's basically a copy of the existing project. So each folder has a copy of itself. Just a reminder, the .env files, they don't get copied over, so you're gonna have to manually copy them over. I'm gonna copy these into each folder. All right, and now we're gonna go back to the terminals and we're just gonna CD into each folder. So each terminal will be in its own folder. So I'll CD here into the memory service folder. I'll CD into the memory retrieval folder. This is the sign up sync folder. And this is gonna be the verification tool folder. So for each terminal, we're gonna spin up Claude code. So I'm gonna do something very dangerous, which means running Claude code in dangerous mode. Basically, it means that when I tell Claude to run a, a task, it's not gonna stop and ask me to do an approval on something. So I'm gonna run this command on each terminal. Basically, it means that when I tell Claude to run a, a task, it's not gonna stop and ask me to, to do an approval on something. So I'm gonna run this command on each terminal. And before I run the tasks, I have to give Claude context of my project. So it's always a good practice to run the init command. So this will initialize a new Claude.md file. It will scan the whole code base and it'll create rules for Claude to follow specifically for my code base. So I'll run this for each project. So basically this is like priming Claude to know everything about my project so that when it starts coding my task, it already knows context about my project. It's almost like having a senior developer that just knows everything about your project. And then when that so senior software developer comes in to make changes, it already knows where to make the changes and has context of how to make implementations around the code base. If you had like really big tasks and you're running things in parallel, let's say six tasks at the same time, it's worth to initialize the .cloud md file. But you pretty much get the gist of it. You first plan the code changes and what feature you want to deliver. You break everything down into tasks. 
And then for each task, you create a Git work tree. And for each Git work tree, you have a Claude instance inside that Git work tree. And once you have everything set up, that's when you just feed the prompt and the task to Claude inside that Git work tree, and it'll start executing the task for you. This is a great example of delegating tasks to AI. But at the end of the day, we still have to review everything. Can't just blindly just let AI approve code that can be malicious or incorrect or use some form of bad practices. All right, the next step is to copy the prompt and the task for each Git work tree. So we're gonna supply the prompt for task three for the memory service Git work tree. And I'm gonna get the task, which includes the code implementation. And I'm gonna do this for the rest of the other tasks for each cloud. All right, so I supplied the prompt and the task for each cloud instance. So I'm just gonna run that. And we'll just let Claude make the code changes. All right, so Claude has completed all the tasks. And at the end of each task completion, I like to tell Claude to create a summary of the code changes. Now the next step is for me to review everything, make sure everything works. I'm gonna merge everything to one branch and test the integration because all these different features require to be merged together in order for me to test the full integration. And that's pretty much it. You guys get the idea of how this works. We create Git work trees. We create a Claude instance in each Git work tree inside a separate terminal. This is the most lazy way of doing it and the slowest way of doing it. My next approach is thinking about how can I spawn or create these instances all automatically so that I don't have to open up multiple terminals and copy files into each Git work tree like a .env files. If you guys wanna stick around to see how I'm gonna do the merge in the pull request, please stick around. Let's do it. All right, for each terminal, I'm gonna run a PNP run build. So the build was successful and now I'm gonna run my pre-commit checks. So I'm gonna tell Claude to git add all, to commit the changes and write a message and then push out the changes. And within the git commit, it's gonna run my pre-commit checks. And I'm gonna fire that off to all the terminals. So all my pre-commit checks have passed and it pushed out all the changes. So now let's go to GitHub and just review the pull requests. So now I see my pull requests in GitHub and I'm just gonna compare and, pull and do a pull request and just do the review process and then merge it into main. And that's it. That's all it is to it. So guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. And if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I'll catch you guys later.